Regatta OS allows you to more easily get to what really matters. Offering everything you need to enjoy better, performance with your PC, whether doing simple everyday tasks, such as opening apps and files, as well as enjoying your favorite games or content creation. Regatta OS has its own store. It allows you access to edit your files in the cloud. It supports, it has support for Vulkan, gaming mode, and FSR. It has game access and it supports hybrid graphics. There's a lot here. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to it. Okay. Go ahead and click on Regatta OS in English US and it will load up. Okay. This appears to be still loading. Pause it again. Gonna have to change the resolution here. Okay, figured it out. It was 1920 by 1080. Didn't like that one. So, I'm gonna close this out. And let's get the installation started. Looks like your standard Calamari's installer. Go ahead and run through this anyways. Okay, that all looks good. Install now. Alrighty, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, she's all done. Uh, restart it now, click on done. Okay, here we are on the desktop, and a few things we'll look at here. I've already done the installation in a VM, so this is bare metal. And you're going to have to excuse me, I'm running this on a very small monitor <laughs> to get the right resolution so it fits better. Some of it's going to be off, some of it's going to be on. And I apologize, until I get my main monitor back... Mm, yeah, I'm kind of kind of be jumping in between these two resolutions. Again, I apologize. Okay, this is this is the Regatta store. And it's running on a It's running on a mechanical hardware here. Mechanical hard drive, I mean. And I talk went up in this monitor, so let's move her on over for you. There we go. Um, before we go any further, I went and tried to play one of my favorite games, and it's kind of borked unless you use the Proton GE version of Proton from a uh, Glorious Egg Roll. Proton Up is not working on this operating system for some reason. I've tried it nine ways to Sunday, uninstalled some stuff, reinstalled some stuff. I I just can't get it to work right now. And he does not support Flathub, Snaps, App Images. He only supports stuff from his GitHub repository. And I haven't tried to install it yet, so... Um, other than that, this thing works pretty darn good. But anyways, enough about my about that. Let's go through this. Um, this is the Regatta store. And you got some stuff in here that you can look at. Uh, simple screen recorder, retro arch, Dropbox, Deezer. Oh, well, you can see all this stuff. 
Uh, most popular free games. This is from uh, Steam, I believe. Photography apps. You can uh, download and add. And then for creation, if you're a creator, got Dark Table, Raw Therapy, Photovi, Photobio. I think I can't really see that. Sorry. <laughs> and keep on scrolling down. Montages, drawing, illustrations, some concept art. Got all that right here. Video editing, compositing. I downloaded that. I haven't tried that yet. The Lightworks one looks pretty cool. Um, and then you got audio conversion. Audio conversion and conversion. Oh, okay. I get it. I thought it was a typo. Um, then you got work. Work category. Play. Some of these are free. Some of these are not. Again, I think most of these are through Steam. Yeah, it says it right there. The best free games on Steam. Best paid games on Steam. Have fun with classics. These are all the uh, uh, emulators. Ooh, I better download the Dolphin one. <laughs> yeah, they get hit with a cease and desist. Uh, manage your games and peripherals. And here's all the launchers. Uh, you got Steam, Heroic, Lutris, Mini Galaxy, Galaxy, Bottles, Enter Micro X, which is really good about mapping the keyboard to a controller. And then you got the Steam SC controller, which is Steam controller. Uh, development, Visual Studio Code, Android Studio, and you got all this stuff right here, and I've used about half of them. Not regularly, I just tested them out. <laughs> uh, utilities. If you got NVIDIA, they got the NVIDIA drivers through here. Um, when, oh, one more thing I gotta mention. When I installed this on the hardware, I got the uh, open source NVIDIA drivers installed. Uh, I had to go in the repositories and uh, add a repository to get the proprietary drivers for my card so there's that um, and then you can take a look at all the other installed ones I got here I got a bunch of them, some are default if you aren't like that the NVIDIA, Lightworks I don't think GIMP was installed. Can't remember. Uh, Proton QT, SE controller, and VLC. Alright, let's go ahead and close this down. And this is obviously the KDE desktop. Let's open this bad boy up. Shift that over. Over so you can see it. Maximizer, and let's get down to the bottom. KDE version 5.275, and there is some things that are not installed on the desktop, I noticed. On the standard uh, Plasma desktop. So they withheld a few things. Um, I'm not going to make a comparison on it. It didn't take too long. Um, KDE framework version... 5.1050 uh, QT version 5.15.9 and for the Proton just so you know it's having an issue with the QT there's a bug right now it's, for some reason it's not working um, kernel version 6.3.3 .3. it's a customized version 
for uh, this operating system. This operating system is based on OpenSUSE. Uh, four processors, four cores, i2400, CPU, 3.1. It's registered as on this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. 8 gigs of memory. Graphics processor, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti PCIe. You can read the rest of that. Uh, manufactured Dell Incorporated up Flex 390 is the name of the computer. This is version 01. And we won't do any, show any of that there. And then you have all the usual suspects over here on the left hand side. Um, let's go over to here. This is pretty interesting. One thing I like about this is pretty much has everything together for somebody who's, you know, gotten lazy and didn't want to install everything themselves or somebody who's new and wanted to give it a try. But like I said, right now it's having the issue with the custom GE protons from Glory Sake Roll and all that good stuff. Okay, available launchers. Uh, Battle.net. Ho oh, ho ho. I'm gonna have to give that a try. I have an Overwatch account. Uh, they got EA, the EA. Excuse me, the EA app. And then you can install at least through that. I haven't tried any of this yet. So if you want to, go ahead and give it a shot. I've been working on this thing for two, three days now. I figured I'd just get the video out so everybody can see it. And then they can try it out for themselves. I, I remember seeing it on... Oh, God, where was it? Um... What's the name of the channel? Oh, Eba Central about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. And that's how I ended up hearing about it. He didn't really go into the operating system. He just blew right through it, which was kind of dis disappointing. I mean, he usually does, but you know, no, no offense, Eba. I'm just saying, <laughs> maybe a little bit more in depth on the operating systems. I need to do the same too. I do that just to get through the videos as fast as I can because you know you lose people and their attention spans after a certain point especially if they sound like they're rambling on like I'm doing right now okay anyways <laughs> GOG Galaxy Launcher Rock Rockstar Launcher Ooh. definitely have to try that out uh, Ubisoft Connect okay and I will show a few games through Steam coming up next. I've already pre-recorded those. I'm going to have to edit them. Um, I haven't noticed any real difference. Well, I take that back. I have noticed a bit of difference on Shatterline, which I could not get to work on this because I need the custom Proton. Um, I played it on my main system and man oh they've optimized the game it's so much better now um and on this system it seems smoother than ubuntu or uh not ubuntu but uh kde neon which is based on which is based on ubuntu i installed everything on there myself so that's probably something i did or something I'm missing, rather. I'll have to look into it, but it, it seems like this is a decent uh, operating system for people who want to switch from uh, Windows to Linux and just want to, you know, use it for some of the time for gaming, for a casual gaming operating system on Linux. It's pretty good. I mean, if you want AAA, you're not going to get all the AAAs on Linux. That's obvious. But, anywho... On to the next part, and I will see you in just a moment.
Hi there, my name's Le Pierre, and welcome to your job as a resource extraction specialist. Now, first things first, as for your mm, agreement, anything you do, hear, see, etc., is strictly privileged. You're never to share any of your experience here with anyone, in any instance, for any reason. Whether that be your closest buddy, your sister's boyfriend, or in a court of law. In short, just don't go spouting off about this job. Let's get started. Usually we'd have five other guys working with you to speed things up. But for training purposes, it's just you. <clears throat> Here's the job. You need to collect toy parts to make a giant toy. Get that giant toy on the train, then leave. There's a big pillar in front of you with three puzzles on it. When you solve all of the puzzles, the pillar will dispense one of the toy parts needed. Go ahead and get started. In this one, the piano will play a sequence of notes, and you just have to play them back. One down. Space, the final frontier. But what if it weren't? What if we were to go beyond space and into time? The mistakes of the past erased, the future reborn, the mortal and immortal made to decide their destiny together. Time is no longer an arrow, but an infinite expanse of possibilities. Explore this strange new world, boldly go where not even a cue has gone before. Power calling. Oh. 
No time for formalities, Captain. My reputation precedes me. I am Q. Need I say more? This anomaly is unlike any Starfleet has ever seen. Observe. Relax, Captain. Your crew from that moment in time is lost. But there are countless other versions of that crew still living. Confused? Meet me in the SETI Alpha system, and you'll see that this is no anomaly. It's a temporal crisis. SETI Alpha 6 destroyed a century ago, and yet here it is. Its cities and inhabitants have been resurrected. You're not going to let them die again, are you? To suffer under Terran Empire rule for years, I will not let the home world of its hated leader go so easily. Mind a true leader, ask how Worf got here, ask for Worf's history. Clearly a well-trained warrior, but conquering Vulcan is the greatest victory my people have ever known over the Terran Empire. If you want to liberate it, you will have to go through my armies on the surface. Hmm. Well, that's it. I had fun playing this, uh, had fun playing these games, test out that operating system. Um, if you want, I'll leave the link down below and you can go check it out for yourself. If you're thinking about switching to Linux, um, Regatta OS might be, might be a choice for you. Anywho, it's late. I've done a lot of editing and I'm tired. I'm out of here. Have a good day. <laughs>